Welcome to my store. Okay, this is that tank that has the uh, Aptasias and Mohanos. As you can see, there's a lot of them. Okay, we're going to try an experiment. See in here, see the starfish? Okay, you might remember them from uh, one of my previous videos. Uh, we got one turning over on the video and we received them. Anyhow, one of my customers bought it and she asked, does it eat uh, coral? I says, yes, it eats coral and it eats snails and it eats stuff like that. So she said, okay. So I don't have, she didn't have any coral. So she took it home and she had some mushroom anemones and apparently he ate a couple of them. So uh, she phoned me up and I says, well, you didn't ask if you uh, ate mushrooms, you asked if it ate coral. And yes, it does. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this starfish in this tank and see if it eats aptasias and Mahano anemones. Okay, because here they like the uh, aptasias and Mahanos because, well, they're pretty. Clownfish, see him in there? Okay, just a wiggle and he likes them. But the rest of the universe mostly hates them real bad because they sting your corals and stuff like that. But since they don't have any corals, they're okay with them. So, they've agreed to let me put it in here as an experiment. So, uh, we're going to do a video and uh, we'll put the starfish in and uh, see what happens. I'm here every week, so uh, everybody count exactly how many anemones are here and then we'll see how many are here next week. So there's very few bare spots. This whole side is all anemones. All up there on the back is all anemones. Okay. Because if he eats them, that would be good because they're a lot easier to get out than uh, if you get uh, like peppermint shrimp, then you can't have hawkfish. The only thing these guys would also eat would be your corals and stuff, but you can always move your corals into a separate spot move your snails, everything that uh, the starfish will eat, and then afterwards just remove the starfish. And I'm thinking that because he puts his belly out on stuff to digest it, that there shouldn't be any residue left to come back if you leave a starfish in there for a while. And as I said, he's real easy to catch to take out. Doesn't move that quick. Okay, so this is uh, the first part of this video. And uh, if it works, you'll see the rest of it. And if it doesn't work, well, we'll put it up anyhow. We put videos up even if they uh, are just not a successful experiment, just to show that we tried. Okay? Okay, here's the starfish in now. I just finished cleaning the tank, so you can tell it's a little murky still. But uh, we do good sized water changes down to about here. Okay? Yeah, you can see. I like water changes. They keep a tank clean. Maybe down here. Basically, that rock up there with the anemones, it's down to about there on them. Okay? So, the starfish is in here. He's heading towards one. I don't know if he <laughs> is chasing it or it just happens to be going that way. But I'm going to come back next week and uh, we shall see if the population is lower. So, remember. This is how many were in it this week. And we'll see how many are in it next week. Okay.